What do you think? Can it be sprayed? How can we spray? Hitting these edges, spray the frames too. This is a 101 step-by-step -step instructional video. You might say I could use a brush quicker, but remember, I've slowed the process down in an effort to share as much information as I possibly can. With practice, masking and spraying is very quick. First I mask edges and protect the hard flooring using Kipps Premium Gold Washi Tape. Then a 12 inch paper which is going to catch the overspray. Any little bits can be filled in. It's important the run of paper going through the door opening is at least 8 to 12 inches past where the door will be masked open. Tack down using a crepe paper tape. I'm using Kip 205 as it removes from the carpet pile without issues. This extended run of paper is more than sufficient to catch any spray or dust coming under the door. Same process for the other side. Place a run down the middle and tack down. Again, fill in any gaps. Now for the sensitive areas. We don't want any paint pulling. Mask both edges of the door. The left side edge. And right side edge.
tuck underneath. Now mask the door frame edge that leads to the adjoining room. One more run to cover the slight opening. Now to mask the opening, using the 12 inch paper again. This is an important step. Leave at least six inches over. You will see why later. Trust me, this is all very easy to do. Taper and fold the paper to a point. I use both these tapes. 3804 is what I use for general tacking down. It has very good adhesion and is cost effective. 205 is a premium crep tape. You pay a little more but you can leave it in place for up to five days and still remove cleanly. So this is the overhang that can be tucked under the door and tacked down or folded and tacked out of the way. Now let's stick it all together. less than a 10 minute process that now enables us to spray a beautiful finish. Trust me, the sprayed finish is so unbelievably good, you won't want to use a brush again. Nothing is getting through here. The 
glass gets masked using Kip Premium Gold again, paper and 3804 to stick down edges. I'll explain each sprayed pass, first two hitting these edges. Now one to catch the left of the glass pane. Then the lower middle. Constantly look over how much paint you've put on. Now the left of the door. This is an area to watch. Multiple passes can cause a heavy spot and lead to a run. So one arcing pass. Check and spray the lower middle. Right of architrave. One pass from top middle, all the way inside right of the door frame. Same for the left side. Check again. Left front architrave. Right side. Constantly checking, we don't want heavy coating in the corners. So a quick pass over the top.
now the skirting. Sit back, relax, and have yourself a coffee. I use a 308 tip for spraying low viscosity water based primers and top coats. Here I'm spraying spray only products by Axel Noble. You can remove masking once the coating is touched dry. Don't snag your hard work now. Next day I coat walls and the last day spray the ceiling. Please like this video and subscribe to Paint HQ, then feel free to comment your feedback and ask any questions. My name is Pete, thank you for watching and supporting Paint HQ, see you on the next one.